the name of this rack is called Extra Credit. In class, we read the gift. Then we read the gift of the Magi. Coming up with differences can be very. I mean, coming up with differences can be very. <laughs> we also read the gift of the Magi. With this rap, I can be your ally. In the necklace, when we look at Mademoiselle, if you read the story, she is selfish, as you can tell. Mademoiselle was going to the ball and needed something to wear, so her husband went and bought her a gown to show her that he cared. So he, she had a good time, but on her way back, she lost a necklace, and her husband almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Over the next decade, with the money that they made, they gave the money to Forrester, which she take, and found out that the necklace was a big fake. Here in the gift of the Magi, Della had to find a gift with only a buck eighty-seven, so she had to sell her most prized possession. She took her money and bought a chain for Jim's clock, but it was so expensive she had it. She sold her locks. Oh. Jim's watch no longer needed the chain because he had sold his watch in vain. Since Della had sold her hair, the comes Jim bought. She could no longer wear. Oh. To buy the gifts, they sold the thing that meant the most, but they realized that they had love to boast. In these two stories, you can make inferences that the characters have lots of differences. As you can tell, Lizelle thinks of only her, and Della and Jim have the devoted love that endures. In the stories, they all lose thing, a thing. The similar thing is they all lost their bling. With this rap, I can be a good guy, so I gotta go, but hey, goodbye.